Today we're going to show you how you can wire up your ESP32 dev kit board to an external ESP32 target as shown here so that you can debug a different ESP32 board using the debugger on your dev kit. So you're going to need your dev kit, an external target and some jumper wires to connect them and you're going to need to remove the green jumpers that normally connect the debugger on board. So then you're going to need to use your jumper wires to connect your external target to the dev kit as shown here and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and do check out the links in the description for further detail on the wiring so we've loaded Visual Studio and we've got a very simple Arduino project here that just sets an external LED to pin 17 and turns it on and off every second so what we're going to do is set our board to be our ESP32 dev module so that's our target and then we're going to set the debugger to be hardware and select the ESP32 dev kit as that's the debugger that we're technically hijacking and set the optimization and then we're also going to set the uploader to be the dev kit as well so we don't actually need the USB port connected to our target board at all so we can do the upload and the debugging through our dev kit board so if we just build and upload our code to our target that will go through the programmer onto the board as if it was an external ESP32 prog essentially so once that's finished flashing all of the bootloaders and the sketch we'll be able to connect the debugger so that we can actually debug our code on any ESP32 project in theory as long as you've got a dev kit available so this is useful if you don't want to buy another debugger when you've probably already got one. And there we go. So now we're debugging our external target board, which actually has an LED attached on that pin, and we can step through the code as normal and use all of the debugging features that you get with a standard hardware debugger. So do check out the links, and good luck. 